So in continuing along, continuing along with the uh, unboxing, showing the stuff that came in the two-player battle box for the Horde starter, I'm going to continue to look at the miniatures. The I'm only looking at the Warborn Skinwalkers, which I did in another video, and the what's right here is the Blighted Ogre and War Spears, because everything else that comes in that starter box comes in the Legion battle box and the circle battle box and I've already done videos on those so if you want to see those miniatures they are in those videos and they are exactly the same miniatures they just for the two player battle box they added a unit to each of those uh, starters to kind of flesh them out as a caveat before I get started I have either not received the heads for three of these miniatures two of the miniatures come with a head on them but I've either not received them or I have misplaced them in the interim. It's been a while since I've made the first video. And either they, I didn't receive them or they came in a little baggie that was separate because the Warpborn Skinwalker's heads came in a little baggie. And so I've either lost that somewhere along the way and uh, putting them in the Plano boxes and swapping them out to get them stored away till I can put them together or I didn't receive them at all. I have found somebody on, somebody on eBay that sells those bits and I have them on the way once I realized I didn't have them. I would try to contact Privateer Press and get them to replace them but I'm not sure if it was my fault or theirs so I'm not going to try to make them pay for my, my, could be my mistake. So we'll start by taking a look. You get the leader, two of one type of uh, body and two of another type of body so we'll start taking a look at the bodies so these are the guys that have the heads on them you see they're pretty pretty complete looks like two other keyed pieces go on them for each of the arms and it looks like one arm has a spear one arm has kind of a clenched fist see they have a Pretty upset look to them, kind of bare chested with some lower armor. I get the kind of a feudal Japan uh, samurai feel from them when I look at them. It, it could be meant to portray another type of uh, armor, but that's when I look at them, that's kind of what I think of. So you get two of that kind of body. This body, it looks to have a keyed piece a little, a little different here so that's an any instead of an Audi and of course this other piece here is the out piece the head is keyed to go in there same same style of armor just a little bit different of a pose kind of a striding pose instead of uh, standing uh, static and then we'll look at the uh, leader for the group See his head is keyed to go on a little different. His one of his arms is already in place, and the other one is keyed to uh, take a spear. You can see his loincloth comes as a separate piece, and it just goes in like that. It needs to be cleaned up a little to fit smooth. Same style of armor, except he's got a little more on his chest he's got some fur going across that and a long cloak going down the back you have five of these and they look all the same they are not key to go on so they're not very thick but you can put a little pin in those to hold them to the back you can see you have a strap that would be holding that in the back for them to have more spears they are a little bent nothing a heat gun or warm water. I haven't tried using warm water for any of the privateer press plastics but because I, because I have a heat gun and it just I snap it with a heat gun and it turns malleable malleable pretty quick. Uh, but you get five of these it looks like uh, the piece on the that's meant to go on the outside has a couple of rings on it. So uh, you just pin that onto the back because it's not keyed to go on there. We have a few different types of spear arms. We have the 
champions, which it looks like it's being held out almost like he's pointing with it. Pretty armored on the uh, forearm. It's a little misshapen. Really kind of down at the bottom, but. So that's the leader's spear. You have two types of spear like this with it almost being held, you know, uh, straight up and down. See another heavily armored forearm. See his fingernails in there. Those have some pretty pronounced mold lines, but they shouldn't be too hard to get out. So you get two arms like that, and then you get two that basically go to the other side. You can see one set of spears goes to one side, and the other goes to the other side. And they're both keyed, so you could probably mix that up, I'm not sure. They're probably keyed differently. Yeah, they are keyed differently, so you have to put it on the one it went with unless you cut it off and put it together and did a kind of a little kit bash conversion. But this one's almost has it in a throwing motion, it looks like, cocked back. Whereas this one really just looks like he's holding it kind of uh, in a uh, formation pose, like he's just waiting to use it. See, it's still heavily armored. And then the last bits we're going to have here are going to be the just opposing arms for them. So you get two like this, kind of uh, with a hand outstretched, almost as if he's using it to balance while he throws. So you can see he's almost got it held out like that so it can balance. Those aren't actually opposite arms, they just look different. So you can see he, he's, he's holding that arm out in front of him to balance while he throws. But all those spears do appear that they're right-handed spears, so they're not, two aren't right and two aren't left. Well, they're just different poses. And then the other arm is just kind of a key to fit into the body and it's just kind of a clenched fist and it's you can see it's almost tucked into his side and then that spear is just kind of held at his side like he's walking forward not quite ready to throw but those are the uh, blighted ogren war spears that come in the hordes two-player battle box